Hello everybody, welcome to game three of the Cheeky Girls, um, up against Dark Elves. No more fun today, that is a good... Oh god, download the TV. I thought it was going to be a fair game, but it's not. It's finite, 3-1-3. Three, three. He's got a strength 4, a lino, blodge step, blitzer, blodge witch elf. He's got pretty funny names to be fair, isn't he? He's got pretty. He's got pretty great. <laughs> he's got pretty great player names. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Um, incredible, incredible team names. But of course, are they as incredible as the cheeky girls? Probably not. At least he hasn't got tackle. So there you go. Oh, good. We're, we're up to 82% on the fantasy football. That's good. Somebody must have scored a touchdown or something. Ah, a couple of field goals for Graham Gano. Wonderful. Bienvenue parmi nous, chers amis fans de sport. L'une des deux équipes est plus expérimentée que l'autre. Ça risque d'être un match assez unique. Yes, a very good looking blood ball team, I have. Good luck to us both. Only me! <laughs> Capture. Capture. <laughs> Tim's on all the luck. <laughs> give me all of your luck. Give me, give me your clothes, your luck, and your motorcycle. Lembit Opig, I do remember Lembit Opig, and I do remember him only because he dated a cheeky girl. Yeah, that is literally the only thing I remember about him. Wandy's a stupid name. No offense to anyone called Lembit <laughs> or Opig, <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's unusual, isn't it? If you're British. Um, that's, that might be a completely normal uh, name from wherever his parents are from. <laughs> Estonian, there you go. A weird name and a weird. He's a very weird looking chap, isn't he? A very weird looking chap. But, uh. You know. He did get. He did get the bang one of the cheeky girls. Which is pretty great, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, maybe it wasn't great. Who can say if it was right or wrong? He might not have even got a bang in. <laughs> Who knows? But in my imagination, it'd be fucking brilliant. <laughs> Especially with the other cheeky girl as well. Fuwa. I think he was a greedy banger. I mean, I bet he wanted to be. But who knows? Who knows what happened? That's the thing you don't know, do you? You don't know. Like, looks are certainly not everything, are they? They're hardly anything, to be fair. Hardly anything. It is weird, isn't it, how people focus on looks so much? Like, it's fair enough if you haven't got a chance with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather look at. I'd rather look at. Uh, I'd rather look at the cheeky girls than. Uh, I don't know, I can't think of anyone ugly. Adele. <laughs> well, she's lost weight now, hasn't she? But still, before that, and plus being fat's different than being ugly anyway. <laughs> um, do we app all this? No. No. 
<laughs> Ugh. Well, there goes my uh, applying pressure, doesn't it? The power there and blitz through there and get the whole team through would have been sick. But as it is, that hasn't happened. Well, this is a bit shit. Says the man with no toes. Yeah, but it. Thanks, Chigan. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm going. You know, Amazon's will never win Chalice, but. It's easy games, isn't it? The good thing about the good thing about Amazon's is it's an easy way to play a bunch of games because you know you're always either massively favoured or massively unfavoured, right? You, you're playing dwarves, in which case you can be like, oh well, no one expects me to win. I'm playing dwar I'm playing versus dwarves, or you can be playing versus anybody except dwarves, and then you can be like, well, hey, I'm just going to smash these fools because uh, my team is uh, way better than theirs, so. It's pretty good. Of course, people can get lucky against you, which sucks. What can you do? Zon, zon, zon. Hello, Paraville. Hello, everyone. I didn't say hello to you before, by the way. Sorry. It is, it is uh, a struggle to interact with chat when there's four people in the booth, or oh, even three, especially especially when there's Kalon and Skuro in the booth. <laughs> Two people who are. Uh, who might enjoy talking a little bit. <laughs> and PC. <laughs> Not shy. <laughs> no one could ever accuse any of those of being shy, could they? So there you go. Glorious. A cyber exam. Cyber sex exam? What? I feel like I should have got some kind of, you know, IT job instead of just not. <laughs> oh well. Fua. Cyber security. That's what trend does, isn't it? Cyber security. Very lucrative, isn't it? I noticed it was very lucrative. Astrophysics, wow. Wow. What a smart ass. I'm I'm never tell anyone that shit at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Do I is that is that your takeaway? Uh, maybe it is. Maybe maybe I just Oh this is annoying, it's now the blood step on my mighty blow takes away my mighty blow. Ability, but um, obviously we're just going to max blocks here. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah, good luck, good luck. Prevail. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, uh, surely that's Art's niche, not mine. Uh, but maybe I do. Maybe I do say it. A bit too much. I'm going to do this to try and clear everybody off me. That seems pretty good. Like if I get a power, clear them all off, don't I? Go 
guess hit with block first. Get the pow. To go here. But the thing, um, yeah, I'm just go there. It's all right, need two stuns. I mean, I would definitely tell people they're shit at computers. I mean, I do tell people they're shit at Blood Bowl. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. I do, I do tell people they're shit at Blood Bowl. I've got no qualms about about being honest. Um, you know, I think somebody's. Oh, shut up, you lucky twat. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a bit diced here, aren't I? To be honest, two Kaz in three turns versus zero tackle. Zero mighty blow. This is, this is. It's not a comedy mega dicing, but it's, uh, it's certainly a bit of a dicing so far. Oh, wow, T.J. Hawkinson got me, uh, got me, eighteen points. Do you know what? I nearly benched. I nearly benched my running back for Brandon Cooks as well, and Brandon Cooks has got eleven points, and James Robinson has got. Two, so I, I think I will. Like he was predicted, he was he was projected more points, but I thought, seeing he was up against a better defense, he would do worse. And I I just didn't have the balls to go against the projected points, but I think I will in future. I think I will. Uh, I will trust in myself a little bit rather than trusting in the projected points. <laughs> IT bonuses. <laughs> hmm. Do we fireball here because it's funny? Like, I can't actually capitalize on it. But it's very funny, isn't it? It would be a very funny wizard. Could turn the tide of the game. Bit of an attrition fireball, though. Like, it probably doesn't do anything. Like, knocking three players over probably doesn't even do anything, is, this, is the sad reality. Like, maybe if this guy was here, right, and I could do these. Because I'd more want to do these because he's there, but it's just not good enough. No, I think I don't think it's good enough. Du corps à corps, chance ça va me plaire. I don't think it's worth using a wizard to get a dodgy one dice out of it. Back. I mean, I've got mighty blow, so mine's less lucky than his, but still, a bit of luck back is good, isn't it? What does this guy do? The fact that he can 2 plus out back isn't so bad, the fact that he can 2 plus forward is a bit bad. Do I really want to commit two people holding him, though? 
think maybe just leaving him here is good enough. Maybe up there. Could try the dodge out first. Punch there. Can't really break through here. Because he can't have the strength four. The reverse is, is a problem though, isn't it? A concern. Maybe you can just go here and then that shores up this centre a bit. And bit. And I think definitely worth the dodge here. No, Rando Carissian. Um I didn't, I didn't. I just called them all like by singers of the time. Mostly in groups to be fair. We've got S Club Seven, we've got Girls Aloud, we've got Kylie, uh, the Cheeky Girls, and Steps. There you go. My favourite girl groups, I guess, are Steps and uh, well, they're mixed, aren't they? Steps and S Club are both both mixed, but Girls Aloud are my favourite, hundred percent. Oh, like Girls Aloud was so good. Not just, not just the fact that they were super super hot, super hot. It was just like I liked all the songs, like literally all of the songs. I thought Girls Aloud were pretty great. T B Hitch. And I liked all the step songs as well. <laughs> Cheeky girls, oh man. Little mix, yeah, they're all right, they're all right. Sound of the Underground, yeah, that was the first one. Yeah. Little mix were, were later, that's the problem with Little Mix, see? Um, these are all ones from like late 90s early 2000s like they're all cheeky girls era right so yes later on i could have of course had taylor swift um the funny thing is i could have beyonce in like every like modern day you could still have beyonce couldn't you i could have had beyonce here with uh bootalicious and everything with girls allowed and then uh you could still have beyonce in today couldn't you which is mad but yeah i mean i could have had like taylor swift etc little mix but um they were all right, little mix. The Saturdays were quite good. I, I was surprised by how good the Saturdays were. Well, at the time, I wasn't a fan of the Saturdays, but um, later on, I thought oh, actually quite good. Fireball here is a little bit tempting, isn't it? Five, either way. Problem is this stun, right? If this wasn't a stun, I mean, he wouldn't have done it. But if this wasn't a stun, then I could go in that way. Or like, you know, if he, if he had some other way, but I mean. I can still hit the ball here, can't I? If I do double GFI and then chain that out, and then I can still hit the ball. Interesting. No, I've done it wrong. He had to go there. Oh well. It's probably best to not try for too much anyway. It's not that I'm too young for banana armor and that, it's just that I've gone for I've gone for Cheeky Girls era. Right? That's the <laughs> idea. Get off my fucking bitch. It's, it's brick. all it's all Cheeky Girls era. That is the idea. C 
seeing as the team is called the Cheeky Girls. I didn't even realise he was niggled and he's now he's double niggled. Oof. Yeah, this guy is new to Blood Bowl, isn't he? Like 313, wishing his opponent luck. Um <laughs> you know, he's obviously a lovely fella who is uh who isn't that good at Blood Bowl. Um and is still you know, he's not just somebody not good, he's somebody new because he's nice. <laughs> that's that's the <laughs> a lot of people use use new as a euphemism for shit, but the fact that he's nice means that he must be new. <laughs> there you go, fifty two. That's very new still, isn't it? Fifty two. Yeah, he still has a human soul. That's it's weird too. Yeah, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Tapioca King. Tropical. Tropical King, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm 94% now. I've got a lot of. Oh, TJ Hawkinson got 20 points. What a fucking badass. What a bad off. 20 points from the uh, tight end. Fuwa. That is glorious, guys. Ten points from the kicker. Fuwa. All right, I made some trades as well. <laughs> Incredible screw up. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Yeah, they haven't taken mad skills, yeah. Blood step, kick. I mean, kick's a bit shit. Kick's a bit of a rebel skill, right? It's a bit shit. It's not terrible, but it's just a bit shit. <laughs> it's going poorly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds it. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need this GFI. Diced. Yeah, people like kick. You know. People like kick. He can't do the pass, can he? It wouldn't be a rebel thing. I mean, people like anything, don't they, at the end of the day? People like literally anything. I'd love to get in there. I'd love to get the guard in there. Eh, not particularly. I'm not. I mean, I've, I've you know, I've done. I'm not. I'm not in love with anybody in Rebel, but uh, I don't like. You know, yeah. I guess. I guess they don't like me. But I mean, I don't. I don't hate them or anything. My problem with Rebel is probably the same as like nearly every uh, nearly every other league like Rebel. You know, it's all the same, isn't it? It's all the same. Bit shit uh, hitting a blood stepper. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? Yeah, 
soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus This is all right, isn't it? It's not the best turn you've ever seen, but... Um, I played there. Like, like you know, Rebel itself, I actually thought the League was better than most. Like, I don't like most Eternal Leagues because... The problem is you, you've got to, like, play... You've got to, The best way to play is to purposefully play suboptimally and build your team over several seasons before finally getting the top division and winning the league. However, Rebel has the playoffs, which made that less... I mean, it's, it's still optimal, but it's less... It was less essential to do it like that. So I didn't hate the, the, the league structure that much. Um, but I still don't like Eternal Leagues of any variety. So, like, that was my main problem with Rebel. Is just, I just don't like Eternal Leagues, essentially. Um, and then... There were, yes. I mean, at the end, of, like, ultimately, with Rebel, um, Full Metal doesn't like me. <laughs> and, uh, that's as simple as that. He's just going to score here, isn't he? But he hasn't got a reroll for the GFI. Right, the four minute turns is the biggest thing. The uh, the biggest thing is the four minute turns. But you know, I signed up knowing it was four minute turns, right? So that's my fault. It's my fault that I signed up to a four minute turn league. But it's also it's the biggest league and it had it had the format that I liked the most. The format itself was the format that I liked. Oh, three turns isn't great to score with it with Amazons. Maybe I should have fireballed last turn. I thought about it. That <sighs> well, wasn't Bandy, was Bard. <laughs> I don't really think that was a special. That special TD. I mean, it wasn't, but at least you scored it. Aren't losing one nil at half time. <laughs> don't need to. Don't need to. We can argue about it, do you? <laughs> Just trying to be nice, mate. Fuck's sake. Does Artemis have strong views? I guess you've never seen an Artemis stream there. Busting through here is the best, isn't it? Because the guard goes there and occupies somebody. I do want to defend against the Blitz a little bit, if I can. Is the Pope Catholic? Is water wet? <laughs> Tripwire would have chipped away his human soul. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass to here. I mean, I knew it'd go back. Right. I knew it'd fucking go back. Had to, didn't it? C'est le moment de vérité. I don't know why I didn't choose both down there. I wasn't gonna follow. Just make a removal anyway. No problem. No problem. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This is quite nice, isn't it? You could say, oh, really nice. If he wants to use the Blitz there to surf. I guess that's okay, isn't it? Four, five, six, and then he goes over the halfway line. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then he's got capture as well. Perfection. Yes, exactly, Art. I wasn't allowed near the... Re I got banned from the Rebel Rookie Discord. Well, not technically banned. They banned me from... They banned me from the Advice Channel. They had banned me from posting in the Advice Channel of Rebel Rookie Discord. Which was obviously, seeing as I wasn't in Rebel Rookie the League, the only place I was ever going to post. And they said, Oh, we didn't ban you from Rebel Rookie Discord. Technically. You know. So there you go. Fucking unreal. Bingo! <laughs> views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> you get bad for saying your own name in some stream, yeah. <laughs> hey, Daedal! Daedal just fully talking to himself. Hey, Daedal! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> oh, my God. Brilliant. Full Metal said that I gave the worst advice he's ever heard, which I thought was a funny thing. I thought it was just a funny, you know, a funny assessment for him to make. You know, that's like me saying Roger Federer has given the best tennis advice I've ever heard, isn't it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know? No offence. No offence, Full Metal. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Alright. Uh, did I suggest not hitting skinks? No, it was... Uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, it was taking piling on on a beast of noble. Which... I can understand why people <laughs> might think it wasn't the best advice ever. <laughs> but to say the worst advice ever is a bit of a stretch, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Right, so we've got the we've got that cage corner. We've got this cage corner. We've got the back side. Punch here. 
Yeah, because I haven't got, I haven't got, I've got a skill we roll anyway on the candle, haven't I? Ooh, probably shouldn't have followed. Oh god. Well, that was a bad follow, wasn't it? Why did it go all the way around there? Fucking autopathing, Jesus Christ. What the, what the fuck was that about? Oh my god, this game is so bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amazing Skuro. Mmm, sandwich. <laughs> yes, you are allowed to say your own name on this channel. Hello. <laughs> Yes, that didn't help you, uh, didn't, don't think that helped your case either, Artemis, no. Yeah. yeah. They didn't like me, they didn't like me claiming the official, like, you know, because they have, they, this is another thing, right, they have their official, official casts and everything, and you have to, like, you have to lobby to be able to cast a rebel game if you're on the like list of rebel streamers and then you get the allocate the, them from the people who ask them they allocate them the, the the honor of casting a rebel game and uh and i didn't do that i just casted a rebel game if i wanted <laughs> you know <laughs> i just just like i think i'll cast this rebel game now so i did Three, four, five, six, seven. So I, you know, if I wanted to cast a rebel game, I did, and then they didn't like that because I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, playing by the rules. Which, you know, first of all, who gives a fuck? And second of all, no, I didn't. Well, this guy's lovely, isn't he? It's not a touchdown yet. <laughs> um, bullet train is decent. Average. It's exactly... I expect it to be quite fun, but yeah, not very good. I, I love the, uh, the Thor one. Um, the new Thor one, I thought that was great. That was better than what I expected. I expected it to be, you know, a bog standard Marvel film, but actually it was it was a funny Marvel film. Which is brilliant. The process of trying to cast a rebel game takes three hours if you can catch turn four, yeah. yeah, like it was it was so weird because like I was in Rebel, do you know what I mean? Like and it's like you know, these people who were asking to be the official caster, you know, like, let's say there were like five people threw the hat in the ring and they choose somebody and they'd have three viewers, you know, and it would be, it would be them and the two people playing the game. Maybe they'd have four viewers, you know, like, and not being mean to them, you know, this was when I was nearer the peak of my powers and I was always getting like, you know, at least a hundred people streaming and like, so, you know, like I'm getting a hundred people watching Rebel instead of three people watching Rebel. So, you know, not to be big-headed or anything, I, I just didn't think it was... I thought they should be, like, thinking, that's okay, of course you can cast them, you know? Like, if it was my league, then I would be like, yeah, you, you know, if you want to cast them, cast them. And I wouldn't fucking cry about it and say, you must use the... Uh, you must beg to be able to cast like everybody else. But then I wouldn't make anybody beg in the first place, I guess. So maybe that's maybe that's the thing that I'm not. <laughs> maybe that's the thing that I'm not getting. I definitely want to blitz this armor seven, don't I? This one didn't get the completion. Very sad. <laughs> Maybe you can recommend him some streams to watch for tips. That's an idea, isn't it? Um, I 
think Kalon wrote something out for me once. Let's see if I can find it. Good old Kalon. I'm streaming this game on Twitch. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. We've got the copy paste from Kalon. Good guy, Kalon. Oh, this is a horrendous kick, isn't it? So everything is not losing. Everything's on not losing. So I probably don't blitz this guy now. I probably blitz this guy and come back. Because <laughs> he realizes you're a cock. <laughs> there you go, you can't argue with that. And this is good because this is like because they're a bit slower, Dark Elves, this is more the area they can get to, right? So defending the area they can get to is pretty good. To be honest, I have a fear of social media. He really is just too nice. He's too nice for Blood Bowl, man. He's too nice for Blood Bowl too. It would corrupt his, his pure soul. <laughs> Holy shit. You can be my wingman anytime. He is Artemis Black. You can be mine. The sheep shagger himself. Hello, Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> you probably are too nice. Right, let's get the guard. The guard back here. <laughs> Hello, Rena. Why are you wowing? <laughs> so I kind of what turns me off of it. Yeah, there you go, man. And he's literally too nice for Twitch. <laughs> Recommending less horrible games. <laughs> Maybe he tried Battle Brothers. <laughs> Maybe it may have wins and he insults. Oh, God. Chat loves you. There you go. <laughs> well, there are hot tub streams you could watch. <laughs> and you could play Battle Brothers. <laughs> play Battle Brothers, watch hot tub streams. If you watch Artemis, you'll find all the hot tub streamers. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, kill it's funny, isn't it? You know, like, that's one of the things, like, people talk about bringing new players into the game, and it's like, but should we doing that? Or should we be doing that morally? <laughs> it, seems, it seems like we shouldn't be trying to bring more people into the hobby or anything, does it? You know, it seems, it seems mean. That is how you end up a hot tub streamers, yeah. I have got, I have got, I, I got gifted a sub for a hot tub streamer. Well, it's, actually, she's not a hot tub streamer. She's like a chatting streamer. I got a sub to her the other day, and I haven't been on a, I haven't been on a fucking stream for like months, just literally months. So she must have got a lot, a lot of gift subs recently. I got one as well, and he probably hasn't been on for months either. So there you go. Unbelievable. Only bring in people you hate. That's the secret. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, no wonder, no wonder Art and I wanted to be a uh, part of Rebel. <laughs> Rebel For fuck's sake, league. Tony! Stop being shit! Four. Mm -hmm. I could have put the right button here, couldn't I? Mm. 
Right, so we've got a double screen. What's it called? Venga bus. Roller pal. Beautiful. He's not even going to be able to get near us now, is he? The only question is whether to try for the pass to uh, skill both of them. Right? Can pass to this one and skill both. This one's on two. Problem is, these elves, he can roll dice, so going for the pass is. Uh, is maybe a bit too greedy. Yeah. Yeah, she's not even that popular. Like honestly, the the like the viewers she gets is not that not that many, but it's like the gift subs are insane. Like so you're much more likely to get a gift sub there than at like a bigger one, because the bigger ones obviously have like much more viewers to dilute the gifting pool. Hence why me and Art got them, despite not being on there for months. <laughs> and she's not that attractive, but she has got crack energy. <laughs> Which is funny. One of them, she, 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 gave, a, she gave a good answer to uh, Mr. Thrall. <laughs> she gave a good answer to the Mr. Thrall question. <laughs> First of all, I have literally no idea what any of that means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Rena. Yeah, so you get a lot, a lot of gift subs. But to be fair, she's a lot more entertaining than than the usual hot tub streamer. Booby streamer. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. If he got plus movement, then I guess yeah, he would be a he would be absolutely a, an auto take or something, she said. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Diced. Comedy Mega. I'm not sure on the five idiots, to be honest. I'm not sure at all about five idiots. Uh, Jack Bull is pretty much up for joining us. Everyone else is up for continuing. So, you know, it might continue. The problem is whether people have time, etc. Okay, now I'm 99% to win my, my NFL match. That's good. TJ Hawkinson got 29 points. 
What a fucking badass. Absolute badass. My reserve wide receiver got 11. And my starting wide receiver got none. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> that wasn't good, was it? Amari Cooper got zero. And Brandon Cooks got 11. Shit. Benched the wrong one there. But yeah, 99% is pretty good. <laughs> GFW might come like, might come back in a kind of dumb way. Like half come back. So yeah, JFW is going to kind of half come back. Wow, that's pretty brutal, Skuro. <laughs> that's pretty brutal. Amazons will never win chance. No, five idiots might come back. This is a good spot for a side step, isn't it? So I guess I don't advance this turn, I just punch. Punchy punch punch. Not hitting the armor 7 is a choice, isn't it? Do have the wizard though, so just need to not lose the ball, I guess. Yeah, well that's the that's the problem store. We can have the hilarious entrance, we can have brain worms, but we just we just can't have the ridiculous storylines, that's the problem. The problem is the ridiculous storylines. Um, or not. Not easy to do. Um, well you're wrong, Scroll dude. This is uh this is Dark Elves versus Amazons, there are no there are no peasants in this game. There's no way you've spotted a surf. <laughs> <laughs> five, the problem with the problem the, the main the main thing with five idiots at the moment is obviously Fault Force's reliability is horrendous. Has been historically horrendous. But now Trend's re reliability um is also going to well I mean I don't know, I haven't asked her, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty brutal with like, you know, working and going to college. So I think that might be the death knell, like expecting a four hours. You know, it's pretty lot, isn't it? Like when you only free time is the weekends to then like give up four hours, it's pretty brutal. So I imagine it might be dead for a, about six months. <laughs> no surf, sea squirrel, uh, squirrel, sea squirrel. I told you there was no surf. I told you there was no surf. I tell you, yeah. it is a bit shit with that storyline. I mean, that's the problem, right? And that takes effort, and 
It's fucking bollocks. It's all a bollocks, the uh, storylines. Okay, that's an amazing fail. That is an amazing fail. Oh baby, even get the pout. That's a good point. Maybe like January or something next uh, next year. Need a power here. I think. Got a got a GFR with the ball, but okay. And he's splitting the team a bit. When I say a bit, a lot. But things were getting a little bit dodgy. March. Yeah, some of these March. So it's not that long, is it? So now we might as well just wait for 2K23 and hope the camera angle isn't fucked. But like maybe he's just stay on nineteen. Several reasons we're gonna stick. Skuro explained it all yesterday when we were when we were talking for three hours. So you can watch the vod of three hours of rambling talking yesterday. But just basically, Skuro and I are dissatisfied with uh, with the situation of like two K. Basically, so yeah, it's, we could do random matches and maybe have some storylines. Like maybe just some like you know organic storylines might occur from random matches, right? I guess that's what we do. I guess that's what we do. We have we have like we have a few matches on Mondays and Fridays, and then see what happens. And you know, like maybe things will happen. It's not no Marzen. It's an, I'm definitely not trying to prove Dimmy wrong. Um, I agree with Dimmy. And this is just uh, just a bit of fun. It's just like nice, easy matches, isn't it? Because it's Zons. Brainless, brainless matches with Zons is the point. Imagine trying to prove Dimmy wrong. There's no, there's no point, is there? He's Dimmy G. He is worse than Dimmy, <laughs> but he is Dimmy fucking G. <laughs> that stun is brutal, isn't it? Do I have the stall on here? Do I have a surf? One, two. I've got to blitz him. 100%. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Come back to here. Bamboozled in with the uh, with the runaway. He can go there. Ah, oh, that's only a one. -er. 
tous ces joueurs qui s'est tournés. Ah, si ça continue, le syndicat va les blacklister. Three defensive assists. It's not good, is it? Yep. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Unsolicited. He didn't kick anyone in the face. No, but he did. He did. He did. Uh, he did get a bit pissed off at his opponent being a bit of a knobber. <laughs> no offense to his opponent, because it's like it's kind of natural. Like to be fair, to be fair to his opponent, to be fair, to be fair to his opponent. Um, you know, he wanted to win, didn't he? And you know, calcium did do the wrong thing. And while. I would have uh, let him off, and other people would, you know, other people would, and other people would like to say they would. And there's a lot of people that would have done the same as opponent, I think. So, just is what it is. Um, wow, somebody in this has got 109 points. Yeah. 17 time Oscar winner, Lord of the Rings, has got 109 points. But I think, oh no, that's not every. Yeah, that's everybody on the team is, is gone. I don't even know who it is. I don't know how you know who the, uh, who the people are in this league. Give me a moment. It's Miss Rogue Merc. There you go. So 109 points. But that is absolutely everybody is gone on that team. Got better running backs than me. My running backs aren't very good. Which is uh, a problem, isn't it? Because it's pretty much all about the running backs, it turns out. But at least I've got better points this week. 68 so far. Three people left to go. So... Wow, cons have got 26 points. Who's cons? Friggin' Niblet. He's got a he's got 20 point 26 points versus Rick with 50. I'm 99% to win now, which is good, isn't it? Hulkamania, who's Hulkamania? Matt the ice cream man. He's got Tom Brady left, and I've got Mahomes and two running backs. So that's why I'm 99%. Oh, yeah, the Swedish bloke. Yeah, yeah. Dimmy, Dim, if Dimmy was calcium, there would have been a fight, which is pretty funny. Isn't it? What does the pun do? So what happened is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Calcium, calcium did not roll Bonehead to recover, or really stupid to recover his players that were Bonehead and really stupid, and caged with them. Also, of course, he didn't block a move with them. So it was pretty obvious what he was, what he wanted to do. <laughs> Which was to cage, but you know, which so you know, just one of those things. Like what I would, I know what I would have done because I, you know, I've done it before. Is as he was doing it, I would have said, "Are you not? Uh, are you not gonna? Are you not gonna recover your boneheads?" You know, like I would have just, I, I know I would have said that because I've, I've said it before. And, stuff. and like it is, it is to my detriment. Um, but I definitely would have done because I, would, I would have missed it. Like you know, and some, some people might have missed it and stuff, which is fair. But I know I would have said uh, I would have said something at the time. But um, where am I going with this? 
nowhere really. Um, so then, so then obviously his cage was completely exposed. So his opponent pretended not to notice and then said, "Oh, you had, didn't roll for bonehead and really stupid. I guess I'll just wander into your cage and win the game." Then. So then he wandered into his cage and won the game. So there you go. So yeah, I mean that is what happened. Calcium didn't play the game right, but. Having said that, like, you know, so you can't really, he's got no recourse to complain, do you know what I mean? Like, it is like how people don't mention positive triggers for opponents. Yeah, exactly. It was, like, it was, it was, it was fair for his opponent to not remind him, because why should his opponent remind him, right? It's, it's only beneficial to Calcium. Um, but I, I know I would, but I know a lot of people wouldn't. And you can argue that they shouldn't, because it's not, it's not like a trigger, it's not like a, it's not like a maze, you know, like, in magic, you have the musts, which you should you should remind your opponent. Like, but the maze, you don't have to remind them. So, like, you didn't have to remind them. But I just would have done. I I know I would have done because I would be like, um, I I know that I would have just said, um, you haven't. You really like me. You got to roll with tabletop. Do you know what I mean? And I would have done that whether it was Calcium or anyone else, like 100%. I wouldn't if it was K-Fog. Of course, K-Fog would never, ever, ever in a million years do the same thing. But <laughs> um, if it was maybe like somebody who hadn't played tabletop, like if maybe it was Art, maybe if it was Art and he just didn't do it because he was playing tabletop for the first time, I'd probably think, fuck him, I'm going to beat him. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> No, not that I dislike art or anything, but do you know what I mean? If it was like, maybe if it was, uh, I, I can't think of anyone else who only plays virtual. If it was like anyone who only plays Blood Bowl 2, who's good, then maybe I wouldn't. Maybe, maybe I would. But, um, but Core I would, 100%. But he would never, he would never, he would literally never, ever, ever forget. It was just literally impossible for K-Fog to forget that. Actually, to be fair, if it was, to be fair, if it was K-Fog, I'd probably be, like, worried he was having a stroke or something, or, like, some kind of brain aneurysm if he'd forgotten. <laughs> so I guess, I guess I would, I guess I would forget K-Fog. I guess I would remember. I guess I would remind Kfog because I'd be like severely worried for his health if he if he could, if it was possible for him to forget that because he just would never forget. Like one hundred percent, he would never ever forget that. It would only be somebody who had primarily played Blood Bowl two or Fumble and then they're new to tabletop. So then you therefore you'd remind. Them. I would. I know I would remind. Them. I know I'd remind anybody. Yeah, I would. But, um, I would, personally, but I can understand people not doing it. You can't hold other people to your standards, can you, ultimately? It's not insanely rare. I, I usually have them all high ground, to be fair. To be fair, I usually do, I think. I think I'm a pretty nice person who is, uh... Correct. <laughs> More often than not. Pretty much all the time, I would I would say. Which is one of the reasons why I'm poor. <laughs> I definitely could have been more of a C nut in my life. For sure. Same with girls, isn't it? You can be uh, you can be very underhanded with girls and stuff. <laughs> you know, and I haven't been. I've been. Uh, I have been a nice guy. So there you go. Yeah, that's a good point, Mars. And Kaz won't forget again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cause of everything I'm satisfied with in my life is how great I am. <laughs> no, but. You know, you can definitely be more of a C-nut. Like, it's usually good to be a C-nut. It's definitely good to be a C-nut, right? Like, it's... Per, like, on a personal, selfish level, if you're just 100% self-centred, 
and selfish, you do benefit pretty much mostly. That's the, uh, that's the thing. <laughs> An awful human being. Awful human being doesn't affect anything, Perovail. You can just literally do all of, like, the fucking... Do all of the bullshit that people do and, you know, it works. But it's just whether you want to do that or not, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, store, yeah. But it's optional, though. Mighty Blow is optional, store. Right? So I I do, I do remind them, I'm the same as you, I do, but it's not a fact they broke it because they literally have to, they have to use, Mighty Blow is optional. Mighty Blow is optional. It's just a fact, it's a fact that Mighty Blow is optional. And they might not want to use it on the armour. There's no reason for them not to, but, um, but that's not something you have to remind them, right? Whereas like, in Magic there's some things that have to take place. And therefore, you have to remind them. And obviously, no one's going to know whether you remember it or not. But, like, you know, some things are like, you know, on upkeep, you may pay one life and draw a card. And some things, at the beginning of your upkeep, you must draw. You, well, they don't say you must, but they say draw a card and lose one life. So those, um, those you have to, uh, those you have to remind your opponent. And the maze, you don't. Now, obviously, nobody's psychic, so nobody can tell you whether you did or not. So it's a bit stupid. It's a bit of a stupid thing. But the thing is, the maze, you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah, with, that's what I'm saying. With Mighty Blow, it's, it's kind of stupid because there's no reason for them not to use it. But there are some things like Damning Tackle, right? They might not want to use it. Tentacles, they might not want to use. There's certain things that they might not want to use. Tackle, for instance, if they were setting up a chain push that you haven't seen. Whatever. There's some things that they might not want to use. And there's an argument for it that even though you think it's better, you wouldn't have to. But Mighty Blow, yeah, like Mighty Blow is obviously better and I would be the same. Like, I would be the same. I know I would be. Yeah, true, really, man. True. true. Whereas you not reminding them that they may, you will never get in trouble for because you don't have to remind them of the other things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Deathwind. But, like, you know, again, it's very, very rare, isn't it? So, you know. Kimberly Walsh, Legend 2 1, that's alright, isn't it? Could have been better, obviously. Yeah. 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 But, no, I mean, I know what you're saying, and, and I would be the same. But, you're under no obligation because it is a May, right? Like, that's the thing. The, the Mighty Blow is optional. Whereas, like,. The disturbing presence is is always on and is not optional. That is always a minus one or whatever. So, disturbing presence you would have to remind them and stuff. I guess. Frenzy you would have to tell them to hit again, <laughs> right? Frenzy you couldn't let them forget by the by the rules. You would have to tell them. Um, I'll go block and get wrestle later. So a dead, a dead line woman is not the end of the world. In fact, can just instantly replace her. Right, so uh, not terrible. Three and all. Didn't get a... Uh, Oh, the lovely Nadine got a Kaz, that's good. So she can get a touchdown and level. She can get a touchdown and level. So there's a few that are touchdowns away, that's good. Sad to go away, like it would always been great to get a completion and score on the other catcher or, or the other blitzer, but still. Like it was against Els, it was too dodgy, too too risky to go for it, I thought. Uh, you know, different if I'd ended the first half 1-0 up, I'd have definitely gone for it. But there you go. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>